Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Leaving, we've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got the earthquake. Down the ran down the hallway. The and rapture then, is here. The rapture's here. And then also, I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Oh, for the, the first time in cicada, like cicada. no, 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 no. Two That's, different. No, two, no, well, they, this is what I read. There's two, two different there's times. Two are, different kinds of cicadas. Yes, two different coming. times. Times are coming. The good cicadas but, and the bad. But no. for the first time <coughs> in in many many years. No, seven. Every seventeen years, this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe. <laughs> but, you know, maybe well, you know better. I, but in I a way, say all those all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that you know either climate change exists, that's more or something point. is really or going going on. returning. Earthquakes are not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It can't. I don't it, think it, that's it happens. And the, and the, kind of the eclipse. They've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen. The sad thing about that video is this person get paid, and not only does she get paid, but she possibly gets paid more than the average person. But it says nonsense like this. Um, I think reparations are essential. I think they're long overdue to a for our massive um, dehumanization and to 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 make right all of the money and wealth that was built off of that exploitation. You know what? I have an idea. Seeing as you're all about reparations for black people, I can understand that sentiment. How about you start with yourself, go into your bank account and start giving your money to black people because you're so about that. And then people might follow along because you're the perfect example. I'm a queer person and I want to celebrate with folks like me. Trans mask, bi gender, trans semi boy. I identify as trans and agender. Gender fluid. And they call it a fursona, right? They're just normal humans. Love God and love your neighbor. Jesus, I love everyone. Once again, I don't even have to say much, but they always have a certain look. Why can I choose my pronouns, but you can't choose not to be called sis? Hey, who is this guy? For the same reason white people can't use the n-word. You can. You'll just be called a racist for being a racist. Those are called consequences. Oh, is that what he's calling it? Sis is not an identity. It's a descriptor. It's an adjective, just like transphobic or racist. Oh, God, really? And look, you cannot identify as racist if you want, but that doesn't mean that black people aren't going to call you racist if you're white and use the n-word. And you cannot identify as transphobic if you want. But if you reject the term cis as a cis person like this, trans people are going to call you transphobic. I don't care! Now I know you could draw the conclusion, well then I'm not going to respect your pronouns. Okay, I can't make you. I can only tell you the impact it has on me when you don't. And then it's on you. They and she pronouns accurately describe me. You sure about that? Nobody who has a problem being described as cis has an honest and good faith belief that it is an inaccurate term to describe them. Just like no white person who brings up the n-word has an honest or good faith belief that they want to say it. That sounds pretty dumb. Here we go again with the ABCD community bringing black people into all of their mess. I do not want to partake in the nonsense that you believe in. You can say and believe in what you want. For all I care, you can believe that dragons are real. I just don't have to participate in the nonsense that you believe in once my kid gets to the age where she understands or maybe she could like get it in steps like oh mom mom is a model mom's doing a photo shoot today like people oh mom makes money because people like the photos of mom mom's getting bbc if this isn't disgusting, I don't know what is. And how any match can partake in the nonsense that this guy Adam22 is partaking in is beyond me. This just shows once again the degradation of our society and how far we have fallen because we have believed in all of this nonsense of be who you want to be and do what you want to do. You said that you effed a whole platoon. Oh yeah. How did this unfold? Where were you? I was in Alabama working at Buffalo Wild Wings. Okay, and one of them came in and he was like, he would, Yeah, and then he would stay for me like after work and I'd be like, we go into my car. And like, we would go to my car after work, like do it. And then yeah. how, did, how did that translate Spine into, fans. yo, you should sleep with my whole platoon? It was like, bring your friends to eat some wings. And then I was like, oh, they're cute. And he was like, I was like, put me on. And he like, put me on. And then he like, put me on another, and then put me on another. And then they put me on a whole nother batch that would come in. Here's the real question, Jeannie. What's your relationship like with your dad? It wasn't. He left before I was born. Blame the father. I do have that issue. This is why you must raise your daughters. Okay, dudes? Please raise your dog. Ah, yes. I'll blame everyone else for the actions that I took so that I can avoid accountability. I have a beard because my body was born with the ability to grow a beard and I don't shave it. It is that simple. Do you want a medal? You mentioned men should be gentlemen. Where are the ladies? We're right here. You just said you're an escort. I mean, like, 
You're not a lady. Excuse me? They want princess treatment just based on the fact that they're women, but yet these will be the same women who will also claim that there is sexism in this world while they also engage in the sexism that they're complaining about. Make it make sense. Or sir, I'm not sure. I didn't misgender you, did I? Oh, please, go fuck yourself. Oh, that's not very ladylike. Oh, oh, now you're fucking misgendering me. Ladylike. Oh, well, uh, what are you exactly? None of your fucking business. What are you? But you said I misgendered you. If I don't know what you are, how can I not misgender you? To the ABCD community, please help me understand. This person apologizes for possibly misgendering this person, even though that's not even a thing. And she still chose to get offended. This just proves my point that these people just want to be offended at everything because in today's world, you get praised for being a victim. Hi, my name is Meat, like the bottles. I'm your new classmate. I just hope you guys accept me being a furry. Ellen, please, no bullying. I can't stand the bullying. Hope you guys don't mind because I'm probably going to be doing a lot of illness. I also like to howl sometimes because my split personality is also a wolf. <laughs> Well, if children know who they are, which they do, and their parents seek out the information to help them be happy in their skin, who are you to block them from doing that? I think the important question was if children know who they are. Children do know who they are. At what age? At, at three, four, five. They know who they are when they're switching <laughs> and twirling. They know who they are. I wish that when I started my transition, I was able to transition earlier in life because that helps you be more feminine or more masculine by using the blockers. You know, that helps people blend in society more. Mm -hmm. I say something about... Please. Uh, the idea that kids know who they are. Um, I think the very existence of detransitioners shows that that's not true. Because these kids arrived at the clinic confident, 100% convinced that they knew who they were. Their parents were 100% convinced, apparently because they gave consent, um, that, that these treatments are, are correct. Um, and yet, these kids, uh, very shortly after they got double mastectomies or subjected their bodies to irreversible, often sterilizing treatments, and by the way, if you do the full course of medical transition, even just hormonal, um, it is guaranteed chemical castration for the rest of your life. If children know who they are, I guess we should just start believing whatever it comes out of their mouths. Children also believe that Santa Claus is real. Let's start believing in that as well. So a 20-year-old can't have alcohol, but a 5-year-old can pick their gender? What are your pronouns? What they are now or what they were? What both? Oh, they used to be uh, she, her, but now they're they, them. And can you take me through that transition? Well, I didn't really grow up in that open-minded of a town, so I never knew what it was, but I always kind of felt like I didn't want to be a girl. And sometimes I felt like a man, sometimes I felt like a woman, but I didn't always want to be one. Um, and so either some days I feel like I'm both or some days I feel like I'm neither. And so I just kind of kept that to myself my whole life until I realized like what non-binary and like they, them and whatnot was. And then I'm like, oh, I think I'm that. So what makes you feel like a man sometimes? We truly need to start telling people the truth and stop trying to appease to everyone's feelings because people are beginning to live in a delusional world where they believe nonsense like this. It's a red flag in a guy. A red flag in a guy is when he doesn't pay for your meals. And then why do you think so? I just think that we deserve a little bit better and that my meals should be paid for by my boyfriend. Would you want him to pay for all the meals? Absolutely. So you want the more masculine male figure? Yes, I do. And then what would you bring to the table if he's paying for all the meals? I would bring my personality, my good looks, my amazing creativity. I would bring how I'm a great girlfriend. So many other things. You deserve better because of the fact that you're a woman. Feminism 101. Trans women should be legally treated as women. Tell me why you're strongly disagreeing. Because I'm a molecular geneticist. Being male or being female is a developmental process can't go backwards so you can't change your sex like you cannot do that currently in california prisons and prisons in other parts of the country women are getting impregnated by other women you cannot house female prisoners with male prisoners because they get raped and that's happening today and it's not in the news it's not in the common news wow, okay. 
but I know about it. I go to the women's changing room at my gym, and there's a dude in there. He's putting on makeup and hoop earrings. And this is not something a woman does when she goes to work out. You know, and it's just, it's so sad that women have internalized misogyny to the point where the man's comfort is, takes precedence over the woman's safety. There's a reason why they don't want to be in men's prisons, because men beat each other to death. This is the most insane thing that has ever happened to me in my life, that women are a feeling now. If a man is, who has tran transitioned, has F on his driver's license, and then he gets arrested, they're going to put him in a cell Correct. with women and his hands are stronger, his body is stronger, and he can beat that woman to death. We finally found someone who's gone through the educational system and come out with some sort of brain. I'm actually surprised that someone educated actually said something that was true. I got a veggie sandwich. Literally just has veggies. They gave me two chips, although I asked for an apple, but that's okay. <gasps> They gave me the wrong sandwich. Oh no. Turkey with bacon and cheese. I'm really, really upset right now. I'll try it. This is not a veggie sandwich. Wow. All right. Well, here we go. Mm. It's not bad. Bacon. It's pretty tasty. Honey, that is not what I asked for.